Wallahi, I've read it many times. It always brings tears to my eyes when I remember my beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This place which he had gone to was a ta'if. It's a common place known in Saudi Arabia today. At that time, they were full of people who worshipped idols and were non-believers. It's about 60 kilometers away from Mecca. So he went on that journey with his freed slave. Like he had a slave whom he bought and then freed him. That was a common practice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he ordered and advised his companions to do the same thing. Buy slaves and free them. So he freed his slave named Zayd ibn Harith. And they went out to a ta'if. As soon as he arrived to a ta'if, he spoke with the first man he saw and said, with the most greatest wisdom of words and the kindest manner, the Prophet used to approach them and say, I am the messenger of God and God has brought the Quran to you and used to recite the Quran to them to prove to them how this is not words of man. And then he would advise them and tell them the commandments and the prohibitions and the wisdoms which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought to him. The first man scorned him and said, away from me, O crazy man. So he went to another man, a leader of this, and he said to him, couldn't God have sent any other messenger than you? And then another man said to him, he said, if you truly are a prophet, then I am not worthy of listening to you. And if you are not a prophet, then you're a liar. Get away from you, insignificant man. Scorns after scorns, until finally he stayed there for more than seven nights, 10 days, more than 10 days, calling the people and trying to address them. Wallahi, with his full heart, trying to save them. So they got sick of him. Not one of them responded, not one. They got so sick of him that they wanted to exile him and throw him out. He was an unwe unwelcome guest. So they brought the children, young boys and girls. And they brought the women behind the boys and girls. And then the men, the slaves and the servants behind the women. And then their leaders stood even behind them watching and laughing as they subjected the Prophet ﷺ to a narrow path. Imagine now a line on this side and a line on this side. Boys and girls, women at the back, servants and peasants on the other side, and they're all throwing rocks at you, spitting at you, throwing dirty material, filthy, impure things at your face, at your, at your legs, and, and swearing at you in a land which is so strange to you, and you don't know anyone there. And you've come to them with a true message. All you're doing is just inviting and saying pure words of kindness and you haven't harmed anyone and this is the way you've been treated the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with Zayd walking between these two lines they threw the filth at him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam until his legs began to bleed on both sides and Zayd ibn Harith tried to protect him and he was injured in his head and the blood was seeping from him subjecting him to a, a few kilometers down almost about two kilometers all on his side children, women spitting at him cursing him abusing him laughing at him pointing at him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam almost a 42 or 43 year old man until finally at that time very tired and exhausted he sought refuge in one of the numerous gardens he sat tired beneath one of the trees of the gardens and the people left him but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent two sons of Rabi'ah and they felt a bit of remorse for this man so they said to their servant, they had a slave, a Christian slave, and his name was Addas. They said, go and take this tray of grapes to that man. We feel sorry for him. So Addas, the Christian slave, went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he gave him the grapes. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said some words which shocked Addas. He said, Bismillah. Because when we eat, we say Bismillah. In the name of God. The man Addas looked at him peculiarly and said, Where did you learn these words? These words are not common to the people of this land. I've never heard them before. The Prophet ﷺ looked at him with a smile. Because that's his character. Even though he was treated so badly by all the people of the city. Listen to this carefully brothers and sisters. I have a very important message here. He never ever generalized. Every single individual was a potential Muslim and a potential good person. He looked at Addas and smiled. And he asked him, oh, oh person, where are you from? And Addas said to him, I am from a place called Ninawa. The Prophet ﷺ said, Ninawa, the place 
where Yunus ibn Matta is from? Jonah. Adas looked at him and said, How do you know Adda? How do you know Yunus? Jonah. Tell me about Jonah. It was mentioned in the Bible. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then said, Jonah is my brother, meaning his brother in prophethood. And he is a prophet of God. And I am also a prophet of God. As soon as he said that, Adas began to kiss his forehead and his hands and his legs. And he began to cry. The, his leaders who were looking at him, they raced, raced up to him and said to him, Adas, come back here, come back. what are you doing? They brought him back and they said to him, Don't follow him. Your religion is better than his religion. Don't get stunned by him. And Adas looked at him, at them with crying face and he said to them, Wallahi, by God, because that's what they used to say. No man knows what this man knows about Jonah except for another prophet. 